Seth has qualities that include absolutely knowing who he is and what he wants and what he expects from himself and others. And he's unwavering in that knowledge. Seth has always been the consummate professional. I don't think he goes into a project without feeling 100% invested and genuine into that. And I, I think that's something that parallels his personality so well and something I have a lot of respect for. I've been fortunate to follow his amazing career as a dancer, one of our leading dancers of this time in classical ballet. He is the calming presence and the prince all at the same time. He taught me how to truly enjoy yourself on stage and get lost in the moment and trust the training and trust the rehearsal process. Seth is sincere, ambitious, honest, hardworking, energetic, uh, courageous, trustworthy, kind, funny, positive, fully committed. These qualities are Seth on stage and they are also Seth in real life. I am from an all-dancing family. My parents were dancers, and all five of my siblings danced at some point in their lives, and some of them have professional careers, such as myself. I was fortunate enough to grow up in the Orza family. We were kind of brought up in the dance world. I was lucky to see what I saw as a young kid growing up, uh, surrounded by pretty great dancers uh, from the get-go. And then training with some of these dancers side by side when I first started. I mean, I was young, like eight years old, and at a place called Dancer Stage. People would come in from ABT. It's pretty amazing to see all the dancers that I got to see growing up and see what you could be like with hard work and training. And from there, I kind of grew as a little dancer. I went on to San Francisco Ballet training with some of my favorite teachers that I can name, uh, Jorge Esquivel, really ingrained in something inside me from the beginning. You have to find that fire within you. If you don't have that flame, you're not going to be able to succeed. And you have to find what your passion is and why you're doing it. And that kind of always stuck with me. And uh, I, I think it kind of helped me throughout my career. So thank you, Jorge. Of course, Parrish, a good friend of mine now, uh, was my teacher back then as well. And he's one of the best teachers I've ever had, hands down. And then Johan Renville, Bronze Idol. And then from my SFB days, I went on to School of American Ballet. And I worked with Stanley Williams, Richard Rapp, Peter Frame, Peter Martins, of course, Jock Soto, Peter Bowl, Karami, and it was quite an awesome time. Uh, just with the group I was with, it was quite unbelievable. You know, all of us pushing each other to strive to be the best. Seth and I have been in each other's lives for a rather exceptionally long time. We were students together at the School of American Ballet summer courses. And we were part of a group of dancers who just were absolutely enthralled with dance and the school itself and also with having fun. So we had a lot of commonalities. And I think from really early on, we began to essentially build our dreams around each other. I think he has always had utter confidence in himself and being somebody who is not innately confident in myself, that has been a gift to be married to somebody who has that confidence because he has generously passed his confidence on to me and always believed in me as well. And I'm eternally grateful for that. Seth since the School of American Ballet summer program 1995. 
So going way back. And then continued to work together as we both joined New York City Ballet. Had many, many amazing times and memories on stage and rehearsal in the studio, playing video games in the dressing room in between entrances for ballets just all the good stuff um, that we had as young adults dancing in a professional ballet company for the first time. I first met Seth in 1999, and I thought he was the coolest guy then. And fast forward to 2021, he's still one of the coolest guys I know. When we first met, we played video games in the dorms at the School of American Ballet, then take ballet class together, play more video games, and then finally get into New York City Ballet together. We worked side by side for about 10 years at the New York City Ballet before we went to PNB. Personally speaking, I remember when I first got into the company, Seth and Sarah always took me under their wing, inviting me over to their home, um, and always made me feel included. Um, so I'm always grateful for that part of our friendship. But as we grow older, I'm even more thrilled, especially going through the times we're in right now, to be able to hold on to these amazing memories, these amazing um, friendships, and to see where we're all continuing to grow as people post our dance life. Going into New York City Ballet at 17. I'm not gonna lie, it was a hard transition for me. Trying to learn choreography, things that I've never done, like character dancing, and just picking up multiple ballets at one time. It was, it was definitely rough, but looking back on it now, it's been an amazing experience. You know, some of my favorite ballets are some of the core things I did there. Sharing the stage, looking at my friends, and just uh, really going all out. Seth and I met oh, what seems like ages ago now when it was his last year with New York City Ballet and it was my first year in the company. And Seth and I ended up being partners for that year. I think I danced most things with him. And we actually started dancing together accidentally. I was cast to do Christopher Wielden's Carousel of Dance, but about four days before, the dancer I was supposed to do it with got injured. So the first rehearsal, Seth comes in like, no big deal. And I just remember being like, hi, I'm, you know, I'm Katie and I'm just, I don't know where, and he was like, hey, it's gonna be fine. I've got you. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be wonderful. And I just, I exhaled at that point. And that's how Seth always was for me. He was that calming presence, that pillar of strength that was just, you know, reminded me gonna be fine. And that first performance of Carousel was, was incredible, as was every other performance I ever did with Seth. Carousel led to us being cast together in Romeo and Juliet. And it was exactly the same situation. I was 18, freaking out, and Seth came in and was like, all right, here we go. This gonna be fine. <laughs> and Seth was always like that for me, everything we did together. <laughs> to join Pacific Northwest Ballet just as Seth's career was beginning to take off at City Ballet, but we wanted a different lifestyle. Being at PNB has been a great experience. My wife and I left New York City Ballet and uh, were ready for a change and something that was a little more normal where we could actually build a life and a family is what we really wanted. It was evident from the start that he would rise quickly through the ranks at PNB and that he'd always be one to watch. As a dancer, Seth was an undeniable force. He was often recognized as a prince, but beyond that, Seth really understood how to play any character. He could be boyish and romantic in Romeo and then turn around and be intimidating and angry as Tybalt. His dynamic nature and commitment to whatever he was doing was so clear and more than just beautiful lines and technique, he had this willingness to risk and that always made him so exciting to watch. The first time I had the opportunity to dance with Seth was shortly after he arrived here we performed the Divertissement Pas in A Midsummer Night's Dream. And although I didn't know Seth very well at the time, I saw very quickly the man that he was because of the careful choices he made with me and for me. 
It's been an amazing run here. I've had great opportunity with valleys that I never thought I would do, such as Giselle, Dom Q, Bashinata, A Million Kisses. This is all stuff that I wasn't even on my radar. It's been an amazing time here. And I'm very thankful for everything that I've been given to this point. Also thankful for all the partners I've had, starting with Carla Corpse and being in a school with her and then going into the company and then with Janie Taylor as well. And then from there, Catherine Morgan and doing Romeo and Juliet, which was pretty amazing. I think Katie and I have really had an amazing time and it's something I'll remember throughout my life. I also wanted to thank my partners, of course, at PNB, Leslie and Liz and um, also Noe. We've shared the stage a lot uh, over the last few years, and it's been an amazing time. And of course, my wife, Sarah, we've definitely grown on stage together, and it's been really amazing to share the stage with her. In recent years, before I retired, Seth and I were paired together quite a bit. We are very different in that Seth is very intense, very serious about his work, and I might be kind of known to be a bit goofy, to be a bit silly, so I like to think I always kind of made him relax a bit, and he probably complimented me in, in kind of forcing me to take myself a little more seriously at times, but it was always a pleasure to dance with him because I felt utterly at ease, and I knew he was going to take care of me and be there for me, so, um, it was a joy to be able to share some of the things that we got to share. I also have to thank all the physical therapists and doctors who kept me in. Thanks for keeping me uh, going. And then of course, to the crew and uh, stagehands and everyone that makes everything happen from behind the scenes. I'm uh, just super thankful to have been a part of PNB. And that's something that I'll also always kind of take with me throughout the rest of my life is that it's about the experience. Yes, we get to perform in front of a live audience and that's amazing. But for me, I really loved the, the experience of being in the studio and working hard with somebody, with David, with Alexei, with jean Christophe, JP. It was a, a fun experience. And then, of course, working with Christopher Wilden uh, from the beginning, really. It was my School of American Ballet times. It's been a great time doing Chris's ballets and then doing uh, Carousel, of course, Even Fall. There's so many ballets that we did with Chris. Uh, that was amazing. So thanks, Chris for giving me the opportunity and having faith in me to uh, do those roles. I was pretty lucky to work with you. And in 2013, we had Lola and it's been incredible. Um, it's exactly what we've dreamt of or what I dreamt of. Having a family and getting to that point where we can live our lives. And then we also had our careers at PNB. And now we're both in our career transitions and uh, she's definitely taken off in hers and uh, is very comfortable with what she's doing, being a doula, which is amazing. I think that's where she belongs, helping other mothers excel in the beginning, because it is hard to become a new mom. From here, as some of you might know, I've been working on something for a really long time now, over uh, 10 years at this point. And I'm excited to announce my company, Orza Pro. We specialize in a new type of dance shoe. It's a dance flat shoe. The ballet shoe itself has really remained unchanged for the last 50 to 100 years. And I'm building a brand that will finally bring the ballet shoe into the 21st century. 
The Orza Bro shoe adds stability and protection to the most vulnerable parts of the foot while completely being unrecognizable from the exterior of the shoe. I've been putting padding in my shoes for literally the last 15 years and it's extended my career. We are partnering with artists as collaborators to change or completely change the interior of the shoe. We've been working on trying to incorporate technology into the shoe that's shock absorbing and uh, will help with injury prevention, longevity, and all day comfort really. Um, for those days where we're standing six hours and you're dying because you're hurting, you know? And I designed the shoe actually from an injury I had in 2005 with New York City Ballet. I injured my plantar fascia and I couldn't get rid of the pain and I couldn't dance and I started putting things in my shoes and this all kind of snowballed and made momentum into creating a dance shoe for dancers. And it was supposed to be for myself. But as I figured out in the long term, it takes a really long time to design a product. And I'm really excited to introduce the Orza Pro dance shoe. And uh, I'm excited for this next generation of dancers to try it out and experience something new. To Seth, I just want you to know that my life at PNB won't be the same without you. I'll miss what you brought to every experience. There are so many moments that I cherish that are tucked away in my heart forever. And um, I'm extremely sad uh, that we won't be making more incredible memories. But I'm so excited for you and for what's next. All of your attributes that I spoke of will continue to serve you and carve out success in all your new adventures. Thank you for all you brought to the art form, to Seattle, to PNB, to the other dancers, to me. I love you so much and I will miss you every day uh, I step into the studio. I'm thrilled for Seth's next chapter as an entrepreneur and a businessman. I think one of the neat things with a friendship that goes as deep is that you are able to check in with them on life. You're able to see how they're continuing to become a father, a family member, an entrepreneur, a businessman here. And he's always been a friend through all of those things. So I'm thrilled to see Seth take on the dance world and to take his same genuine energy, attitude, talent, and passion and drive into putting that into something that will become something that not only he'll enjoy, but the rest of the dance world needs and that will benefit them. So I'm thrilled to be a champion along the way. I'm thrilled to be an advisor and to help him along the way. I'm, I'm just absolutely thrilled and couldn't be prouder um, as a friend and somebody I look up to um, to this day. So take care my friend and congrats on an amazing career and uh, wishing you the best of luck on your new chapter. So Seth, thank you so much for being there for me when I was that silly little 18 year old who didn't have a clue. <laughs> and then even more so when we did Swan Lake and I was very, very ill and still wanted to come dance with me and partner me and just taught me the value of enjoying it, taught me the value of being calm and trusting yourself. So that meant more to me than you'll possibly know. I can't wait to see what you do next. I know with your business venture, you are gonna be so highly successful because that's who you are. You just make it work, you just happen. It's gonna be great, you know, as you taught me. So thank you for everything you've done. Congratulations on an amazing, amazing career. And uh, I can't wait to see where life takes you next. I can't believe dad is retiring and I'm really excited that he has continued Orza Pro. I can't wait until that he comes back from his meeting today. I really, 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 really like <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Dad. Bye!
Seth has been working on Orza Pro for so many years now and it is it has been consuming and I have seen him just plow through with such utter determination and I just could not be prouder of him. I am just so pleased for Seth to be going on to the next phase of his life and his daughter Lola is very thrilled to have him around more and we just wish you all the best babe and there's nothing you can't do and we're so proud of you. I really just have to say thank you for everyone supporting me through the years, my friends, my colleagues, my partners, everyone that I've really worked with. It's been an amazing run and I'm super thankful and I hope to be in dancers' lives from a different perspective, helping dancers through their careers. And with my brand, or as a pro, I really hope to be a part of the dance world still in that aspect.